Kestrel and Kestrel Commons. That's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And welcome to my Summerland series. And in this series today, we're gonna to be talking about the Kestrel and the Kestrel Commons Villages. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're thinking about relocating to Summerlin, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. So let's get started. Situated in the northernmost part of Summerlin West, Kestrel overlooks the Las Vegas Valley from an elevation just above 3,000 feet. South of Lake Mead Boulevard and west of 215, Kestrel will offer seven new single-family neighborhoods, each delivering its own distinct and contemporary spin on traditional Spanish architecture from a lineup of Summerlin's builders including Taylor Morrison, Woodside Homes, Pulte, Richmond American Homes, and TriPoint Homes. And as of now, the current builders of the Kestrel Village are Taylor Morrison, Woodside Homes, Pulte, and Richmond American. No further information has been released with what TriPoint Homes will be building or what the other three remaining communities in the village will be. This past weekend, Damien and I decided, you know, we try to get out there as often as we would like, and we wanted to get some awesome drone footage of the progress of both of these two villages so you guys can see what is actually going on, right? Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of fun to see um, all the layout of the difference between the Kestrel Village and Kestrel Commons. So how it's laid out is once you get off of 215, you head west on Lake Mead, to the right, you're gonna have Reverence, mm -hmm. and then to the left starts the Kestrel Village, okay? So we're gonna go in order, talk about the builders that are currently right now, and future builders that may be coming to the Kestrel Village. Then we're gonna go over into Kestrel Commons. Throughout this video, we're gonna share all the drone footage that we had taken, um, just because it was pretty cool. Yeah, and I got a little carried away too, so I yeah. to add a little more. <laughs> and stay tuned to the end. I will probably do a compilation of all the drone footages that we had taken during our visit. Nice. Yeah. Now, the biggest trend we had noticed in these two villages is three-story homes. It yes. seems to be a very common trend. And the reason I feel that they have a lot of three-story homes is because of the phenomenal view. Uh, yes. Yeah, and, you know, I thought the Red Point Village was beautiful, but this tops Red Point Village mm -hmm. with the phenomenal friggin' views of the city. And then right behind you is mountain views. Right. It's such a good, nice balance between the two. And then, you know, when I was up there, I couldn't help but think 4th of July would be really nice here. Yeah, exactly. So as I had mentioned, as soon as you get off of 215 and head west on Lake Mead, the first community in the Kestrel Village is uh, Crested Canyon right. by Taylor Morrison. Now this gated community of 126 home sites offers two and three story home collections with six different floor plans to choose from ranging in size from 1,649 square feet to 2,242 square feet, with three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms, and two car garages. These are the same models found at Cascades and the Red Point Square Village, and the prices will be in the mid 500s. Yeah, and, and it's pretty cool, uh, apparently, that these type of homes did very well. So they copied the same floor plans as they did in Cascades. We do have a client that is buying a three-story model in there and we did the frame walkthrough the other day and OMG. Uh, yes. Yeah, his views were phenomenal. So where his house was situated is the back of his house is facing um, towards reverence that big beautiful my favorite mountain mm -hmm. and then the front of the house has a balcony where you can see the entire city the strip downtown I mean everything he picked a winner yeah it was a great view and it was uh, on an elevated lot it was yeah up over the community even mm -hmm. now to the south of Crested Canyon is Falcon Crest by Woodside Homes yeah, and this is a smaller community of 110 home sites of all single story homes with three different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size from 1950 to 2218 square feet with three to five bedrooms, 
two and a half to three bathrooms and all three car garages priced from the high 600s um and when we were droning this one damien took about 20 drone shots of it <laughs> the battery was lasting forever i don't know why um the nice thing about this community is they have this beautiful little community park area or picnic area that's a little elevated that you can see the whole city and that's actually the best spot to mm. see fireworks right mm. there um and it's nice to have an all single story community a lot of clients love having single story communities and that's the only one in that we know of in this village right now so it'll be interesting to see what other builders are going to be popping up um, or communities in this village now to the south of falcon crest or just slightly next door is blacktail by pulte homes now this community has a hundred and twenty two home sites which offers three-story homes with four different floor plans to choose from. And these are ranging in size between 2,300 to 2,572 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms, and two car garages. Yeah, and I forgot to mention all of these will be gated communities. And since this is part of Summerlin West, the monthly HOA for Summerlin West is $55 a month. However, each community will have a separate additional HOA um, for that community. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can always go to my website at Neighborhoods in Las Vegas and click on the Kestrel or Kestrel Commons Villages. I have done great detail on all the information that we're providing right now. If you want to learn more about all the floor plans, Go to my website or I've done videos. We've done videos on these villages where we're driving through it as well. We just thought it'd be kind of a different take showing you the actual drone footage um, and going over the builders that are in these two villages. Right behind Falcon Crest is Offspray Ridge and this is by Richmond American Homes. Unfortunately, no other information really has been disclosed about Osprey Ridge. All we know that it is going to be an array of ranch and two-story floor plans from their popular seasons collection that range in size between 2240 square feet to 2520 square feet with three to six bedrooms. Now, the funny thing is, is when we went there, we saw, looks like they were building the model homes, oh, and it nice. looked like they were also building some standing inventory. So it's interesting that they're already building, but yet they have not released the floor plans. They're being so secretive, it's interesting. Summerlin is so secretive sometimes. I don't know if it's per se Summerlin or the builder. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we're, we're intrigued with this one, because this is like the, the secret agent. Yeah, uh, every week I'm going on Osprey Ridge website trying to see what's going on. Can yeah. you tell me more so I can, you know, tell you guys and share with you. So mm -hmm. it's interesting where it's located. It's just right behind um, Falcon Crest and Blacktail. Mm -hmm. So right next to the Kestrel Village is Kestrel Commons. And this is located just west of the 215 off of Lake Mead. Now the point of Kestrel Commons is to make these homes a little more affordable than your typical Summerlin home and to make it more diverse or condensed um, where they're gonna have more townhomes and condos and smaller style homes because it's gonna be right next to the urban core. So it's the same concept that they did with Red Point Square Village. So um, the urban core is right in the middle between Kestrel Commons and Red Point Square. So these types of homes are gonna be extremely close together and they're gonna be two, three-story homes, ta townhomes and condos. It's a sweet spot. Yeah. And as Angela said, Kestrel Commons will evolve into this like this fusion of single family, detached and attached homes featuring contemporary architecture. And that will offer a blend of suburban lifestyle and urban-esque sophistication and boast the signature connectivity, walkability and open space now synonymous with Summerlin West. So far, the builders that are in this village are KB Homes, Woodside Homes and Toll Brothers. No other information has been disclosed as to how many neighborhoods there will be in this village or what the remaining builders or who the remaining builders will be. So the first true neighborhood in the Kestrel Commons village was Nighthawk by KB Homes. And Nighthawk is actually a gated community with 192 home sites. This community features six two-story floor plans ranging in size from 1,720 square feet to 2,466 square feet with three to five bedrooms, 
two and a half to four bathrooms and two car garages. And prices are in the high 400s. So this community is kind of interesting um, because some of the homes in this community have the short driveways oh, yeah. and some of the homes have the standard driveways. So because of the footprint of this village, uh, expect a lot of the neighborhoods to have those smaller driveways because again, they're trying to uh, put all, as much in one area as they can mm -hmm. to make it more urban-y so that everyone's super close and have a better walkability to the urban core. One of the good things too about Mad Hawk though is they do have that that nice floor plan that KB's known for. I think it's a 2466. Yeah. It's a very popular floor plan. They have that in that community as well. Yeah, and again, go to my website. All that information is there. So when you look across the street from the Nighthawk, there is a sign, a white sign, that says Quail Cove, and it's gonna be by KB Homes, coming soon. No other information has been disclosed about it, what type of floor plans, if it's gonna be townhomes or single family homes. We just know that Quail Cove is gonna be right there. <laughs> we were exploring and we just happened to turn around and see a sign and we're like, hey, what is that? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then also in this community is Viero by Woodside Homes. And I do believe Viero is part of the Kestrel Commons Village because Viero is an exact replica from what I understand, don't hold me, 100% to the same floor plans of Obsidian mm. over in the Red Point Square Village. Um, so what is this community all about, Damien? Well, this community actually will feature 112 home sites with two and three story homes ranging in size from 1,460 square feet to 2,038 square feet, each adorned with stylish covered patios and decks offering the perfect blend of indoor outdoor living so you can see the trend three-story homes we went to their woodside website of course they have pictures of the homes but no floor plans have been disclosed or pricing so it's going to be interesting to see i think i'm right now also the the other interesting thing was they were building the models and they had at least 10 homes they did like they were building um so Woodside lately, what I've noticed, has been doing a lot of standing inventory when they open up a community so that they're ready to go. Like prime example, Estrella over in Sunstone neighborhood. When we first went there, before they even opened, they had a handful of standing inventory homes. Mm -hmm. You will be able to, what I could, would a picture or imagine, select some of your options, but then they're also gonna have a handful of standing inventory. So it's gonna be interesting to see when they actually finally disclose all what the floor plans are gonna be and the pricing and, and all that good stuff. You know, you actually had kind of a theory on why the standing inventory, I believe, wasn't it about how there's less inventory on the market, so it's, it's incentivizing the builders to, to have standing inventory like this, to yeah. have shore up. Some yeah, of that inventory. Exactly. You know, taking advantage of it, so yeah, to speak. Sorry. Mm -hmm. There's a limited amount of resale homes on the market, so I have a feeling that's why these builders are continuing to do the standing inventory, mm -hmm. is to you know, the, a lot of people that buy resale homes want to buy now on demand. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're having these move-in ready homes so that the buyers can buy on demand. Also right across the way from Nighthawk, we noticed another sign, but this one was by Toll Brothers. Yeah, of course, no other information has been disclosed. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling, and I could be wrong, that it's gonna be probably similar to Cordillera, just because what's the common trend in this village? Three-story homes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. These will be our town homes, so hopefully um, my theory is correct, but yet, you know, they keep things hush-hush until they, you see people building and then all of a sudden, it's, you know, they disclose it, right? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but there is news just in. Lennar Corp, a major home builder here in the Valley, is developing a 14-acre, 79-lot subdivision in the Summerlin community. The project will be located west of the 215 Beltway and south of Lake Mead Boulevard in an area with other new housing developments. No timeline for construction was revealed to project plants. Mm. So when we were driving the Kestrel Village, we did see 
two white signs. It didn't state who the builders were going to be, but remember one said um, cer certain acres and another said it was another acre. Yeah, it was like 74.66. Yeah. Yeah, the other one was 46 or something. Yeah, so. Or, or 26. And mm -hmm. again, from what they announced, for the builders for the Kestrel Village, Lenar wasn't in it, so it'd be kind of interesting to see. Yeah. And then where are the floor plans for TriPoint Homes? <laughs> Come on. Secret missions, everybody. You know, my thought is that Red Point Village is near completion. A lot of these high-end builders or these builders are almost sold out in their communities, and we don't have anything to fall back on, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have Falcon Crest and Crested Canyon and the Blacktail, but people want more homes like Overlook and Kings Canyon and then the Pulte Carmel Cliff. That's what they want. And I don't see anything like that in this new village. So it's kind of interesting to see how it will all play out. Now, when we were there also, we were able to take some drone footage of the urban core. Yes. So it's super exciting to finally see that they're building on the other side of the 215 of Summerlin Parkway. I remember years ago thinking it would be so cool to finally get to Summerlin from there, and now it's finally happening. Um, and you know they have it. It's kind of weird because yeah. it seems like you you go. It's only one way streets over in, up in there, mm -hmm. right? There's a one way going this way and a one way coming down this way, and then some of the uh, places going into the villages is only one way. But once we probably get more information of what's going to be in this urban core it may all make sense. I, I would think so. I think they're trying to get the flow of traffic to work better right. by having those lot of one ways. Yeah. So I am super excited to find out exactly what they mean by urban core. All I know, it's going to be different than downtown Summerlin. And I had predicted, and I could be wrong in one of my videos, that it's going to be kind of like this new other community that was popping up in the Southwest, where it's going to be like lofts um, with shops in the bottom and then lofts at in the top or apartment that. type um, thing. So it's gonna be very high walkability and desirability mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's gonna be super, super interesting. We need a lot of shopping on Summerlin West because there isn't really anything in Summerlin West except for that shopping center off of Desert Foothills. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it. And then you can go across the way to downtown Summerlin and then the Pavilion Commons. But other than that, it's a long time coming. It's going to be nice though when it's done. Yeah, so it's uh, stay tuned to my channel. Our goal will be to do an update of these two villages at least every couple of months so we can see the progress. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how fast things build up in just two months. We'll keep you guys informed and uh, we'll, every step of the way. If you want to learn more about all the villages in Summerlin, again, go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com where I have done a video on every village and I have all the listings in all those villages. Okay, mm -hmm. it's like full of like... It's like an encyclopedia. Yeah, it's so much information <laughs> <laughs> about Summerlin. It's an education. Any, yes. Anyway, guys, make sure you... Hit that like button. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one.
Bye. 